Greetings. I am Pastor Jake Fain from Peace Lutheran Church, uh, here to share a devotion with you. Today's reading in Scripture comes from the book of Deuteronomy, the 26th chapter. Let us hear God's word. When you have come into the land that the Lord your God has given you as an inheritance to possess, and you possess and settle in it, you shall take some of the first of all the fruit of the ground which you harvest from the land and the Lord your, that the Lord your God has given you, and you shall put it in a basket and go to the place that the Lord your God will choose as a dwelling for his name. You shall go to the priest who is in office at the time and say to him, Today I declare to the Lord your God that I have come into the land that the Lord swore to our ancestors to give us. Now when the priest takes the basket from you, from your hands, and sets it down on the altar of the Lord your God, you shall make this response before the Lord. A wandering Aramean was my ancestor. He went down into Egypt and lived there as an alien, few in number, and there he became a great nation, mighty and populous. When the Egyptians treated us harshly and afflicted us by opposing hard labor on us, we cried to the Lord, the Lord God of our ancestors. The Lord heard our voice and saw our affliction, our toil, and our oppression. The Lord brought us out of Egypt with a mighty hand and an outstretched arm, with a terrifying display of power and with signs and wonders. And he brought us into this place and gave us this land, a land flowing with milk and honey. So now I bring the first of the fruit of the ground that you, O Lord, have given me. You shall set it down before the Lord your God and bow down before the Lord your God. Then you, together with the Levites and the aliens who reside among you, shall celebrate with all the bounty that the Lord your God has given to you and your house. Here ends the reading. Uh, the book of Deuteronomy is one really long speech given by Moses to the Hebrew people who are about to cross over into the long promised land that God had given to them. In fact, it was so long, 40 years since the people had been liberated from Egyptian slavery, that a whole generation didn't remember what it was like. And as they were about to enter this new land, it wouldn't take long um, for a new generation to forget what it was like to wander in the wilderness. How soon we forget our history and hardships when we enter lush and lavish space. Moses is telling them, remember your past by being grateful to the one who freed you and gave you all of this. Bring forth the first fruits, not the last fruits of what you have been given as a wondrous celebration, recognizing you know where it all has come from and continues to come from. And do not get selfish as if this land was always yours. Remember the immigrants and how God made a new home for you. But how quickly we forget. God would have us remember, number one, where it all comes from, the freedom found in the one who gave of himself. And number two, God would have us remember those among us who God continues to make room for and bless in addition and indeed even through us. As we close today, I invite you to pray with me. God, you are the miraculous one who set the captive free and liberated the oppressed from bondage. We too often forget that's our story too. And so help us to remember your mighty acts of mercy so that as we enjoy the fruits of your blessings, we may remember those that we continue to make room for you. So we offer our first fruits of thanksgiving and praise and ask for your generous heart to transform ours. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Beloved child of God, may God bless you and encourage you. May God equip you and guide you to shine the light of Christ in the world as you go out each day in faith. God's blessing.